I'm Sean Murray. I'm a film composer. I write music for video games, movies, television, documentaries occasionally. Uh, I've been in the business professionally since I was 15 years old and uh, been loving every minute, minute of it. I started writing uh, for film. I, I got interested in film uh, when my father was working on a film in Hawaii when I was about 10 years old. And it turned out that the composer that my dad was working with was um, the guy who wrote all of the Terminator movies. First time I used Cakewalk was back in 1996. And I believe I was working on a, a TV show called The Savage Dragon. It was a Saturday morning cartoon uh, based on Eric Larson's uh, comic book work. And Cakewalk was my first PC um, computer platform for MIDI music. Yeah, Cakewalk was my first PC MIDI platform and audio platform as well. Well, I'm coming down from a few years of doing uh, some pretty interesting video game projects. I did Call of Duty World at War. Oh, one of my favorite scores of, of all was uh, Call of Duty Black Ops. And what I loved about that is that we had such a huge orchestra on that, 80-piece orchestra, and we uh, recorded that quite near to my house over at Warner Brothers Studio at the Clint Eastwood scoring stage. And that was one of the high points of my uh, film com composing career and video game career. Every piece of music is different. Um, a lot of the times when I get a new project, get the final cut, I will go for the main title. The main title gives you the opportunity to develop and introduce a main theme. And usually the main title will dictate to you the tone and tenure of the, uh, the piece of the entire film. So getting that strong thematic material right off the bat helps you with the rest of the film because then you, you'll use that strong thematic uh, material with a character or you'll use it uh, you know for certain high points and climaxes of the film so a lot of the times I'll go, go for the hardest piece first and then it's easier to write from those themes that are developed What's so great about writing for, for film is every day is a different day. Every scene is different. Every person that you work with in the business has a different uh, background and a different sensibility. So every time you do a film with a different director and a different subject matter, you learn. You know, I don't have any backup horror stories. I've never lost a film. And the reason being is at the end of every day, I've always been good about this early on since I started even working with, you know, floppy disks, I backed up my work because I didn't want to lose that day. And in the film business, there is no excuse. We have the advantage now of being able to back up so easily and so automatically that you barely even have to think about it. And, and now with uh, Gobbler, I'm backing up as I'm going. It's not the end of the day now. It's every single cue is getting put up to the cloud, which makes it, uh, you know, it, it lets you sleep easy and rest easy at night. Your stuff is being backed up. I could, uh, you know, the studio could crash right now. Everything could crash. The hard drive could crash. But that cut that I've just been working on for the last three hours, I'm going to be able to save it and get to it and pull it back up if anything blew up in my studio. It's, it's transparent. You don't have to think about it. It's, it's saving as you're going. The other thing that's also going to be great about uh, working with Gobbler here is once I get all of my data uploaded and all of my uh, sound libraries, it's going to be really easy to drag anything I want, no matter where I am, on any one of my X3 platforms and uh, 
get right back to work and uh, start where I left off. X3 has a, a lot of advancements in the plugins, the effects. They're incredible. Uh, the new Pro Channel is amazing. I mean, it's really matching the quality of, of uh, some of the high-end British boards with the type of EQs. The uh, parametrics are, have become really fine. The quality of the compression in X3 is just terrific. I mean, these panels are absolutely Pro Control compressors, EQ, parametric EQs are very uh, in-depth and detailed and really have a terrific sonic quality. So the sonic quality of X3 is just keeping, it, it's advancing and advancing.